Hello and welcome to the Purple States and today we're going to be viewing Michigan. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. Michigan is at a very interesting state because like some of its counterparts in the South, it's only really become a swing state in the last sort of 10 to 20 years. And again, let's have a look at the numbers that come up with the national poll. As you can see here, Michigan has tended to actually being a democratic state number. In fact, since 1992, it has always basically fallen to the Democrats until 2016 and Trump won the state. And the carrying of the state this time around is quite fascinating. It holds 15 electoral votes and it is very much key to how Harris gets across the line because unlike probably some of the southern states and to some extent even some of its other Rust Belt states, Michigan's reasons for swinging are not as clear cut. Most of them are talking about cost of living and the overall economics. Michigan's a bit different and the polls are suggesting that other areas, particularly things like the Middle East conflict, it has a very large Arab population, is one of them. The way the Biden administration is currently carrying that is also playing out. Plus the fact that what was promised in the 2020 election from the Biden administration hasn't necessarily benefited the state like expected. And therefore the swing is on. And that's why, again, if you look at the national polls, it's very close. Michigan is much, much closer than probably what was expected. It is still sitting at the moment at a 0.8 to 0.9% swing to Harris, but that's right now. And it has been narrowing by the day over this number. Again, let's have a look through what we've been doing with the purple states. If you have a run through of the simulator of Michigan, Harris has to retain this state. Without this state, she is not only in trouble, it's probably game over. And if you look again, she wins seven out of 10 times if she holds Michigan. But Trump, if he was to hold it, actually moves up to eight and a half times out of 10. And that for itself shows again why Michigan is such a core to this number, because 15 electoral college votes, when we are so tight getting to that 270, is absolutely key. And the fact that this state is swinging on numbers that don't actually match the national numbers, cost of living, as I said before, makes it such a fascinating current state of play and a state to watch in those purple states. Thank you.